when I first started serving, I was like 24 at this at this uh, hotel downtown. Serving like bartending? Ser no, uh, waiting tables. Uh, oh, serving. Like and I walked in, and I there's this this gay Mexican dude, older guy, mm -hmm. named Ricardo. Uh huh. And I'm like, oh my god. Was he our first gay best friend? Yeah. I mean, I'm like, this is the funniest, gayest guy I've ever met in my entire life. Uh huh. And and then the next day, we like got our arms around each other. And we're like skipping through the kitchen and he's helping me. He's the funniest guy I've ever met. I love him so much. <laughs> Are you still friends? Oh yeah. Aww. So for the next year and a half, everybody at the hotel thought I was gay. Uh huh. Because he would like give me hand, you know, he rubbed my hand, he'd rub my shoulders. Mm -hmm. They're like, well, so Are this you Bosnia. Like, this... Is it too much for you? No. Like too high? Get in on it. It's too high? Okay. Oh, it feels good. So for the next month, or a year and a half, they're like, Josh, you're gay, right? I'm like, no. <laughs> like, why do you let Ricardo rub your neck and rub your hands I go, because it feels good what's wrong with you it's just a massage it feels good that means you're really comfortable with i'm very sexuality. comfortable in my sexuality yeah i feel like a lot of guys are homophobic and yeah it's like, okay. i'm not either like I, I i know you know i know who i am i know what i do yeah when i you know when i fantasize there's always women in it you know all of my dreams have women in it mm -hmm. i'm just very comfortable i'm not i'm not afraid to give a guy a hug kiss on the cheek whatever i don't care right. it's just a hug right and that's that's how americans are if we were if we were in Europe, you'd be like, oh, this is normal. Yeah. American guys need to get over it.